Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back again with another mukbang and horror movie and today I have a spinach and cheese quiche and I'm getting ready to watch The Craft. So why don't you guys grab something yummy and join me. Hey guys, so I'm super excited. I love this movie so much and I haven't watched it in ages. I still have a little bit of makeup on <laughs> from last night. David took me to go see Winchester for Valentine's Day. Oh my God, I loved it. Mm. It was such a good movie. <clears throat> and you know, it's funny because that was a while back that I did a video on the Winchester house. It was, I think it was a mukbang. And I talked about the Winchester house. Real creepy. creepy. But yeah, I love watching movies that are based on a true story. Mmm. This is so good, you guys. So I used four eggs, a quarter cup of cheddar cheese, and a little bit of spinach. Mmm. And then I put a little bit of sour cream yeah. on top. So yummy. So yeah, this movie, oh my god, I was so obsessed with the craft when it came out back in the 90s. I was going through my, well, I was going to say goth face, but I've always been goth. <laughs> but I was going through my new era goth phase and all that. And I used to dress like Nancy, Mama. the bad witch, <laughs> the worst one of them all, the leader. I used to dress all goth, and I used to go to, there was a bookstore, I forgot what it was called, but it was a new era type stuff that they sold there. And then I discovered the movie. So I started watching the movie. And I became a huge fan. I started to get more and more into that stuff. But I wasn't really into witchcraft, you know. I was just like doing my own thing. And well, no, not necessarily. I think that... You could call what I was doing witchcraft. And that's before I was Christian, obviously. Yeah. I was obsessed with my ex-boyfriend. And I wanted to get him back. And 
I wanted him to fall in love with me again and this and that and like I was buying all that stuff at the new era new age or whatever it was called back then <clears throat> store and like yeah I really started getting into this stuff and this movie like inspired me to like freaking dress goth And be into all that stuff, but I was so innocent back then. <laughs> I think I was maybe I was like 19 or something like that. 20? I don't know, I was really young. I was really, really young and stupid. <laughs> and I had no idea what I was doing or messing with. Mm, so good. Show you guys a little bit. No! Must you scream? No, say it eat that, Caleb. What's wrong with you? Don't worry, there's still more food. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> oh. You like my Stranger Things shirt? It's 11. <laughs> it says Lego my ego. I love Stranger Things. They have so many great Stranger Things. Stuff on Target. At Target. Every time I go to Target, I just want to buy it all. They have lunch boxes, cups that look like 80s style. They have a lot of stuff of Stranger Things. I think they even have a deck of playing cards or something. I can't wait for the third season to come out. The thing is that I hate how short those shows are. Like, they put them on Netflix. And then they only put, like, eight episodes. And it ends so fast. <laughs> and you don't want it to end. I just really love Stranger Things. Mm. All done. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. That was a weird face I went through. <laughs> She's here. She told me. Someone to be the force. She's the one. But like I said, I was young and stupid and never again did I dare mess with that stuff. And, you know, when I became Christian, I knew better than to mess with that stuff. Because no matter what you want to call it, new age, new era, it's witchcraft. So, <laughs> if you're going to mess with that stuff, then I hope you know what you're in for. Because that's <laughs> nothing to mess around with. No, you, you can sit here. <clears throat> so, yeah, of course, Hollywood exaggerates stuff. But, you know. All that stuff you see in the craft, in the movie, is possible through witchcraft. You have no idea how... Of course, Satan is not more p powerful than God, but demonic forces are real and stuff like that. It does exist, and it, it can influence other people. It can hurt and damage other people, especially if you're not protected, you know? Oh, man, that quiche was so good. I haven't made a quiche in so long. But you know the one thing about witchcraft that people fail to understand? Those who practice it is that when you do something to harm others, it, just like they say in the movie, it's not Hollywood, it's real. Whatever you throw out there, it's going to come back to you three times worse. So, you know, you got to be careful what you do with whatever power you think you have. 
because whatever harm you throw out there, whatever you put out into the universe is going to come back to you, whether good or bad, you know, it's like karma, you know, if you put out good karma out there, you're going to get good karma back, but if you put out bad karma, <coughs> evil, negative things, that's what you're going to receive back, so. So what are you doing after school? I don't know. Alright, so. Ooh, I'm full. I'm going to show you guys a little more of the movie. This is different. You put spells and power thoughts in it, and then you don't let anyone else read it. That's funny. That book reminds me of the Necronic, um, whatever the hell's called, the Book of the Dead <laughs> from Evil Dead. Oh my god, that's another show that I started watching. Well, I already finished it on Netflix. Ash vs. Evil Dead. Oh my god, I love that show so much. Anyway, so yeah, I used to go to a little store. I mean, it doesn't look exactly like that, but it had a lot of similar stuff, you know. They, it had books, and it had you know, stuff on spells and, like, good luck, yeah. charms and stuff like that, rocks and a whole bunch of the posters, even, like, posters and stuff. They had a lot of stuff in that store, and I, I used to go there a lot with my friend, because my friend was into, like, the same stuff that I was, you know, and she was a little goth herself, so, yeah, we used to go to that store a lot. More than that. That's crazy though. It's like their mental force <laughs> made that happen. It's so creepy. That girl's such a bitch, though. That's funny. When I see the blonde girl, all I could think of is, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's the one that that played uh, Marsha Brady in the Brady Bunch movie. Christine, I forgot her, her real name. She is such a bully. I'm glad she got hers afterwards. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, Laura? Do you think you're funny? You really want to know why? Yes, I really want to know why. Because I don't like Negroids. Oh my god, I would have slapped her back right there. Like, oh my god, bitch, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> she looks like a narcissistic bitch. Oh, here we go. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Oh my god, I used to play that with my friends. And it's funny because we used to play this way before this movie came out. Like, back in the 80s, when I was in middle school. Oh my god, my friends and I used to play this game all the time. <laughs> Of course it didn't work. We just like play around and try to scare each other. <laughs> but yep, that's exactly how we would play it. That's what they say you have to say. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. It's creepy though. But of course in Hollywood, anybody's going to levitate. <laughs> Yeah, 
it never worked until this one time we played with my friend. I think it was my friend Valkyria. And she said she actually, she freaked out and like screamed and stopped playing. She said she didn't want to play anymore because she said that she actually felt like she was levitating. We didn't feel it because we had our eyes closed. But when we looked at her, we're like, we didn't feel anything. You know, we thought she was like fooling around with us, but she literally got freaked out. I don't know if it, if I was just all in her mind, <laughs> but she was literally freaked out and she never wanted to play again. <laughs> That's funny. How do I get down? <laughs> How do I get down? <laughs> Who's got the instructions? Just keep concentrating. That's too funny. <laughs> Can I shut up? <laughs> yeah, it's funny because I used to do my makeup just like Nancy. <laughs> Just like her, I used to do my makeup all the time, and I was always dressed in black and leathery stuff, because I would shop a lot. There was a store back then called Contempo here in Miami. I don't know if it was famous in other places, in other states, but I know here in Miami, it was a very popular store called Contempo, and I used to go there shopping a lot, and I would buy all my goth clothes there. Yep, the whole shebang, the chokers, the jewelry, the leathery stuff. <laughs> I just loved dressing goth. That store doesn't exist anymore, though. I don't know why. I guess they went out of business or something, which is sad. Because I used to love shopping there. And now that I'm losing so much weight on keto, like, oh my God, I would have loved to start shopping there again. But I'm sure eventually I'll find a store that suits me. I no longer have to buy plus sizes and stores and ugly clothes. I could start dressing nice again. <laughs> now that I'm shedding off the pounds. Yep, I'm not going to stop till I reach my goals, baby. I am a fighter. I never give up. I'm not going to stop until I accomplish my goal. And then even after I accomplish my goal, I will remain on maintenance mode. I will never again go back to my old eating habits. Hell no, nah, never again. Never again will I be fat. <laughs> it's funny because now I'm losing weight and my friends are gaining weight. And it's funny because I've always been the fat one of the group. And now it's like I'm the skinny one of the group. The other day we went bowling and I took some pictures with some friends and my mom saw the pictures and she's like, oh my God, Monica, now you're the skinny one of the group. Did you ever think that? I'm like, nope, I never in my life dreamed that I would ever be the skinny one of my group of friends, ever. <laughs> well, the skinniest one, <laughs> not skinny, I'm still not skinny. I don't consider myself skinny, skinnier, of course, because I have lost weight, but yeah. But it's crazy though, a lot of my friends have gained weight and I'm the one now shedding the pounds, it's insane. I never thought I would be <laughs> skinny ever again since I was in my teens. Okay, crazy bitch. <laughs> now she really went psycho. Yep, so she went psycho. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that's it. The movie's over. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in my next video.